What is up guys, this is Paradist here today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a nice color corrections over your artwork in Photoshop. So I'm gonna be starting with a Twitter header and let's get right into it. So the first tip that I like to give is to when you make your entire creation, I like to group it all and save it in layers and then duplicate it and merge all. That way you can go back and edit layers and colors and whatever you have for your final product just so it's easier to work on so like there's a lot of blue here and cyan and all that stuff but uh so yeah you merge it just to have single layer like what you want as your final product second part uh let's say that you wanted to change the overall color or you wanted the darks to be a little bit darker to make the whites and the brighter parts of the uh, art piece to stand out and so what i like to do is go over to the adjustment layers down here by the mask go up and you go to black and white and so what this does is that it brings uh bring it out like the color that you select with this black and white tool and so i'm probably going to go to the scions bring that down a little bit uh, you can play with it but like the general colors that you want to be brought down you can obviously bring them down bring down the blacks a little bit um there's not very much red or any of those other colors so have that set as that go to normal change this to I believe it was soft light is what I had it to. Yeah, soft light. Cool. So you have that pretty dark and lower the opacity a little bit. That will give it just a, a nice overall, like it, it just feels like there's like depth to it. And hue and saturation. And this, it's really up to you what you want to change it to. But let's say I wanted to change it to, I don't know, a, a red. So something like, I got this cherry-ish red and as you can see it's it changes it pretty well but um after like having this along with it you probably want to have yeah keep the hue and saturation on top and the black and white on bottom and this just honestly it just it brings out like the like like as i was saying before it just brings out the depth of the whole thing and that is color balance and this thing has saved my life multiple times for the fact that you can really do whatever you'd like and I'm hurting myself right now let's just put this over here okay anyways um, so let's say that it's not like quite the red that you want you can adjust that by sliding the red meter or like the little bar up a little bit let's say I don't know put it up like 20 and you can you can mess around with it I mean it's all like all this is preferences but let's say you didn't want like that little bit like darker red so you kind of like made the vibrance go up a little bit more and then add more red so that's pretty important and then adding a little bit of blue kind of you can do I mean it's that's like the hard part about this tutorial is that you can really do a lot of things with this thing but you can add some really cool effects like adding blue and red to this and it gives it kind of a more like purple look just because obviously like the the combinations of the colors and this is a pretty subtle change so so that's step number four I believe I can't count whatever all right the next step is going in and going up to vibrance uh, I like to do this just to make my artwork pop and I mean um, majority of the time I don't print my stuff so uh, CMYK is normally what I don't have I have RGB on normally all the time forever and always because I love it but um vibrance you can always add a little bit of that and just add more to the red or just like the overall color scheme it'll make it a little bit deeper but you can always go back and like readjust certain things and something like that i like i like that i think that looks good okay and the last thing that i like to do just to make my artwork just to like this is just it's not really exactly color corrections but if you wanted to do like the whole glow style uh, go over grab some like the other colors and you can see I already did it a little bit right there but adding just like little blobs of it where like the light would hit and make a little bit of like a reflection so it's a little bit shinier so then you make little dots like that with one of the brighter colors linear dodge and now to give it more of a realistic uh, kind of beam I'm gonna add a little bit of blur to it I'm, I'm gonna add probably like 57 and let's lower the opacity a little bit so right there, <clears throat> a subtle effect like these really, really can change the overall effect and like the appeal of, let's say, any of your art pieces. Like, I mean, in general, you can change it to be whatever you want, 
but you need to make sure that you can do it correctly so it looks good. So there's just the blue and there's the red, but the whole temperature has changed. The There's a little bit more purple, like magenta, I guess you could say. Uh, whereas over here, it's just black and gray. So uh, that way things will blend better. Let's say you also wanna add like a vignette. You can just kind of do something like this with a large soft brush, bring it down. It'll also add some more, f like a, make the focal point more uh, centralized. So all these things all play a role in your final product. As you can see, hopefully this has helped guys. Hopefully you can now understand how people get that glow effect and make like their, their artwork kind of look more centralized and just makes it pop a bit more. So if you guys make something, make sure to link me on Twitter or whatever, but hopefully this has helped. Um, anyways, have a great night and I will talk to you guys later.